Perhaps this is what came to your mind when you heard the word prison. But reality is far from what we have known all the while. Let me take you to a tour of Central Prison, Chellapalli, Hyderabad. Contrary to the popular idea about a prison, Chellapalli Jail is a place where prisoners are reformed, rehabilitated and trained by the government in weaving, painting, farming, baking and masonry. ఇంటి <laughs> In a new reform initiative, the inmates of the Chellapalli Central Jail are trained in various plumbing, mechanical, electrical and painting works. Prisoners who completed this training are also given certificates from the National Academy of Construction and MES. Many of the trained prisoners have since been freed and have gone back to their hometowns to begin practicing their new vocations. In addition to this three-month intensive vocational training, the prisoners use the jail grounds to build structures as part of their practical work. Farmers who are looking after the plants in the central jail are prisoners too. They grow fruits, vegetables, cereals and pulses over 129.9 acres of land. Baita kuncha kuncha macha sir maaku. Ikkada chen tarvata meer em chesko untaru ani adigaru sir maaku. Esaim chesina man chepinam sir maaku jail adhikarulu adigithe. Chepte ikkada achina tarvata ivadu kuragalu pandistunnamu. Tomato, vankaya, mulangi, mana thodakura, cabbage, carrot. Itla meem eve pani chesukuntam ante kuda aa pani cheskomantaru sir maaku. Idu okate pani gaakunta kuda school lo unnai dharam factory, steel factory. The prisoners make many items in various manufacturing sections. The various products they manufacture are furniture, textiles, soaps and phenols. At the Dari unit they manufacture rugs and carpets which are so good that they can last a hundred years. At the steel furniture unit they make steel benches, cots, racks cupboards which are supplied to colleges and schools. Many films have portrayed prisons as places of violence and vandalism. However, at Chalapalli the scene is far from violent. In fact, there is an inmate who is a Gandhian at heart and has written a book on peace and non-violence. When the training was finished, and there was a trust here for Gandhi Global Family World, there was a committee here. After coming to the committee, there was a request for Gandhi Ji to write something on Gandhi Ji. So, I read the history of Gandhi Ji's history. Gandhi Ji wanted Hindu and Muslims to live in the same way. So, Gandhi Ji wanted to live in the same way Hindu and Muslims to live in the same way Hindu and Muslims to live in the same way. तो उनका एक मैसेज को मैं अपनी एक किताब की शक्ल में देके उसे मैं सारा हिंदुस्तानी मेरी किताब का नाम सारा हिंदुस्तानी रखा और इसके ऊपर मैंने हमने क्या सीखा अमन या तशद्दुत हिंसा या अहिंसा एक किताब लिखने का मकसद ये है कि हमारे देश में अमन कायम हो जाए हर एक की जिंदगी हंसी खुशी से गुजरे क्योंकि फसाद जब होता है तो 
किसी एक की ज़िंदगी नहीं बर्बाद होती है उसके साथ में उसके माँ बाप भाई बहनों की तमाम की ज़िंदियाँ बर्बाद हो जाती हैं हर आदमी अमन से रह के अपना एक जहाँ तक हो सके अपना एजुकेशन पाए और एक नौकरी पाए इसीलिए मैंने जब डॉक्टर रेड्डी लैब्स के ऐसे के ट्रेनिंग सीखा तो मैंने यह फैसला कर लिया था कि मैं भी एक कंपनी डालूं और उसमें लोगों को जॉब के लिए ऑफ़र करूं और ज़्यादा से ज़्यादा मैं भी लोगों को कंपनी में यह करूं ताकि लोग सबसे अहम मसला हमारा बेरोज़गारी का है अगर ये बेरोज़गारी हमारी दूर हो गई तो इन हमारा देश ज़रूर ज़रूर तरक्की करेगा No person is a born prisoner. Circumstances force people to adopt crime. However, if prisons aim at reforming and rehabilitating convicts and treating them positively, they would be giving the prisoners an opportunity to forgo their past and start their life afresh with a new perspective.